Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Ross are here, ready for all the pain and disappointment that this level will no doubt bring. <sighs> Should I try? Should I try for the warp? I might as well. It looks like I've only got one life left. One life to live. Let's see if I can get as far as possible on it. If all these mummies and fireballs don't get me first. Come on, you hateful Burks. Well, I'll keep on a going. I just might make it. You never know. I suppose it's possible. Ah, what the hell. Let's try skipping ahead again. Let's try... Abusing this as much as possible with the one life I have left. Let's try sucking fire ants up my left nostril through a straw. Whoa, that was close. Hey, what do you know? Made that one. Wait a minute. Do I have three lives left? Is that what I'm seeing there? Okay. Oops. Well, I screwed this one up, so I'm playing the next level no matter what. Whoa, Zango, Metroidio, Turtle, Dippity Doo Da. Crap. And back to the beginning. Well, what can I say? I made a go of at that time. Yes, I did. And also, I'm becoming rapidly disenchanted with the prospect of warp zones. Let's just, let's, let's, let's just go. Let's, let's just go through the levels and hopefully pick up some one-ups on the way. If there is any such thing as a one-up in this game... <laughs> Metroid... Turtle Troid... crotch-grabbing sinus monster, wherever the hell that thing is. If I get the chance, someday, we are walking around, you know, minding my own business, and I see that son of a bitch in a dark alley somewhere, I'm gonna tear its guts out. I'm gonna tear it right out. I don't give a damn if it has a turtle shell. It is toast. Do you understand me? I will eat its heart. That's, that's how I'm feeling today. How are you feeling today, gentle viewers? You having fun? You playing some... You playing some fun games? Some fair games? I used to play fair games. Whatever happened to those fair games, I have no idea. Just not a damn clue. Nope. Don't even know. But bagum, we're just gonna move on. Zoop. Thank <laughs> you. 
So anyone who's been watching my videos for a long time realizes that the way I get through most of these is with heavy drinking. And gaming fans, let me tell you right now, this one is going to be even more drinking than most, I think. Fortunately, the other day, I found a whole bunch of extra beers in my file drawer. Not sure how they got there. I certainly don't remember putting them there. And I have no idea why anyone would have, least of all me. But the upshot of it is that I just got landed on by a god dang mummy. You toilet wrapped rapscallious douche nozillion rapscallion. If you had a heart, I would appeal to it, but you don't because it's made of dust. Made of green dust like this pyramid's bricks. Green dust from the Nile River. Oh, there's a Delta, alright. There's a Delta attack coming up. A three-way, three-pronged type of dealie. It involves lots of fire and lightning and possibly ice. And also, there's going to be electric sporks, because mummies are weak against electric sporks. This I know. I've destroyed mummies in the past, and I will destroy mummies again now. Whether they know it or not, see look, they've turned into coins. An electric spork will turn a mummy into a coin using alchemy. The alchemy of electricity and sporkitude. Ha 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 sporkitude. You only need a few handy items to use alchemy and an electric spork. One of those items is a magic horn that reveals secret doors. Luckily, I've got one in my garage. Next to my funnel. I'll go get it. I mean, I'll go get it. Um, add some automotive ramps, too, to go with it. Which is good for beating the skulls. But someone stole them recently within the last couple of years. I was a little disappointed when my automotive ramps got stolen. But, that's the price you pay. Wait, where, where am I? What, what happened? I feel like I just got back from a strange place. Nope, nope, I'm, nope, I'm back, I'm back. Okay. Mummies. We were talking about destroying mummies. You're not gonna suck my guts out through my asshole, you son of a bitch. Not this time. I wonder how many points you need in this game to get an extra life. I wonder if it's a lot. Because I am starting to really desperately needing to get the extra lifey lifes. Oh, do the power-ups wear off after a while? Is that what I'm seeing? Well, that's not very nice at all. You have to admit, if I'm not making better progress, I'm at least making more rapid progress at this point. That's gotta be something. Small consolation, but consolation nonetheless. Here we are, back in the green zone. 
Love that green zone. Eat for your life, mighty bomb jackass. Let's go this way. Is this the right way? This kind of looks like it's back to level four. That can't be right, though. Whoa, 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 mummies. Nah, nyeh, nyeh, go. Escape. You just go to a go to a nice easy place and escape, Muddy Bomb Jack. Go to a place where your friends and your family will reassure you and make you happy. And nothing bad ever happens there. Because it's in your head. In your pointy eared blue cowled head. Boy, that was fortunate. Okay. Let's just get out of here ASAP. What's that S? What's it do? I don't know what it does. It's not doing anything. Okay, screw it. That's what the S is for. The S is for screw it. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, Metroid. What the hell? There's a mummy in the box that didn't look like a sarcophagus. That box, it, it was full of a mummy. That, the box, I mean, that's where mummies live. That's where they hang out. That's where they conduct their accounting business inside of boxes. But you didn't, I mean, that's, I... I don't even, why, why did they, I can't even, oh my goodness, let's just get the hell out of this, birds, 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 mummies, okay, I'm going to do some serious drinking and some serious head desking, until then, this is Rosser, for my sake, take a drink.